Hi everybody, today's video is going to be a review on the, I'm not sure how to say it, so it's Kousi or Kousi, K-O-U-S-I Cube Storage System from Amazon that I got on Amazon Prime. Thinking it's going to be really good for storing fabric. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to put it in my closet, I hope. I didn't take measurements beforehand, but that's kind of how I am. I kind of wing it. So let's unbox it and I'll show you what it's like, if it's worth it to put together, if it's worth the money. Um, let's check it out. All right, let's get this out of the box. It looks like a lot of pieces. So let's see what it looks like. Lots of these connectors. It's going to hold the cubes together. I'm not sure what these little guys are, but I got a lot of them. And a little tiny wooden mallet. Isn't that cute? Here's one of the, I assume, sides. It's kind of an acrylic plastic wrapped around a wire frame. The rest of everything is wrapped up, which is interesting that that one was separate. Okay, and we have some instructions. We have more of those plastic. This looks like the doors. So this system has um, little doors on it that I'm hoping will keep the fabric um, dust free a little bit more. So let's see, let's set the doors separate. And then this is the wire shelves and I believe this is the base of our um, shelf. It's what the fabric would sit on. So, so far so good, right? Now let's take a look at the instructions and see how they are. I believe I have the 12 cube. So it tells me how many panels and connectors and clips that I have, how to use the clips. Hmm. Eh, I might, I might understand how that goes. Let's see, do not place wire panels on the bottom layer that touches the ground. So your stuff must sit on the ground on the bottom one. No, it has plastic. Okay. Please make sure that the panel is inserted into the connectors fully. There will be a crisp sound when properly installed. I like that instruction. The instruction of the arrow is the direction of force or the opposite. Okay. Don't forget to install the clips after completing these steps.
Okay, y'all, it's the next day because I totally ran out of battery last night. So I got it all put together um, and I'm pretty excited about it. I really, I really think I like it. There might be some different options out there that you might like better, but I think for what this is, I think it works really, really well. One tool that you will need that they don't tell you is needle nose pliers. Um, definitely needle nose helps. I have some blunt uh, pliers, but the needle nose works really good. And what this does, it just saves your fingers because when you are trying to snap these wire um, shelves and doors and whatnot into the plastic connectors, you have to um, really get them all the way in and it's just hard on your fingers. And these, you can just grab the two wires and pop them and they pop right in. So this worked really well. Now they also come up come with these little tiny connectors that you're supposed to put um, throughout it. And I think it's just to help reinforce it. I don't love those and they can kind of pop off and I've got a puppy and so he can, she can, you know, swallow those pretty easily. So I think what I'm going to do is just um, maybe reinforce it with some zip ties, but it seems pretty sturdy right now. So I might not even do that, but I love zip ties. So I have like a bag of a thousand, so I'll probably throw some on for good measure. So let me just give you a quick show of this. So what I'm going to use this for is fabric storage. So a lot of times I have some leftover fabric that's like not quite a yard or maybe it's more than a yard or it's fabric I've picked up and I just like to keep the, it by color. So I love this because I can kind of see through the door so I can see the colors or it'd be really easy to, if you have a Cricut and you do vinyl, to make really cute labels for this. So I can see that like I have reds here and I have my orange here there's some pink over here and I thought the doors were going to be just really lame and flop all over the place and be open and closed you know and they're not they're staying closed um, pretty well a few of them might get hung up on one another where one opens the other but it's not it's not bad it's not a big deal and it keeps the dust for the most part obviously not all of it but quite a bit it's going to keep the dust off your fabric I threw a fat quarter bundle in over here, so it's, you know, it can hold a little bit of weight because I'm going to load it up, so I'm going to test her out. Um, overall, it was not too bad to put together. It was um, definitely the pliers help. Um, it's a lot of pieces, but the instructions were pretty simple, and I followed them pretty well. And um, like I said, it seems pretty sturdy. You do need that, you know, they send you with the um, little um, wooden mallet. That's not quite enough, but I pretty much just banged on it with my um, pliers to kind of just get them together. The other thing that I did was I put it on its sides and back and kind of pushed to just really get all those wires into those connectors. So that's the biggest, um, the biggest thing challenge that you will have with it. So... Would I pick this over a cubed storage, like um, wooden with the slide-in drawers, you know, boxes? Um, I think I would, actually. Uh, I actually, you know, honestly, I've not used it a bunch, so I don't know for sure, but um, I like the idea of opening the door. Sorry, puppy's here. Of opening the door and seeing all my fabric instead of having to pull out the bin and dig through the fabric. So I really like this a lot. So I'm pretty excited. It's going to go in my closet. So I've got kind of a large closet in there and I've got shelving. And right now my fabric is taking up my shelving space, but on one end, there's no shelves. It's just a wall. So since this is 14 inches, it's not going to be too obtrusive and give me a ton of space to put fabric. And yeah, I think these are 14 by 14 by 14. So it's a good Good amount of space and if you like the cubes you can still put the cubes in here they still fit so overall i think i'm going to recommend this product um after i've used it a few months i'll i'll uh, leave an updated um review below but i think it's going to be a winner i've got another one to put together so i'm going to do that but just check out the links in the description to buy this on amazon i picked it up on prime day if i can find out the price that i paid for it i will let you know what that is so that you can price shop and compare. 
So thanks for dropping by. Um, remember to like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thanks, guys.